Hello and welcome to whoever happened to stumble upon this video or came back to my channel. Hi, I am Dana. Very happy to have you here today. So today I'm going to be talking about how much money I have made off of Redbubble and tips to get sales. So straight away we're going to get into it because it's probably why you clicked on this video. I'm going to tell you how much money I've made. And honestly, Redbubble, I'm just going to put this out here, it's not a very lucrative platform. I don't know if other people have made like lots of money off of their sales. Stickers are not very expensive and you don't make a large cut of it, so it's not a lot of money. But I will tell you, I'm looking down at my computer so I can see the numbers if you're wondering what I'm looking at. So I made my first sales in July of 2019. It is June of 2020, so it's been a year. And I have sold 101 stickers and I made $25.05. Wow. <laughs> so I'm just going to be showing you guys like what stickers of mine have sold the best and some tips on how to make stickers that will sell. Because the thing about Redbubble, even though I was saying it's not very lucrative, you really don't have to put in a lot of work and then these stickers are going to be up there for forever and you can keep making money off of them. And especially for really popular stickers, the highest amount I've ever sold is 24 of the same sticker, but for the really big stickers, like when you just go under popular stickers, the top ones, I'm sure the people who've made those make a lot more money. It depends on the size of the sticker and the type of sticker that people buy, but you make about 20 cents per sticker, which is why it doesn't add up to be that much money. So I'm going to put up like my sales and all and show you which of my stickers have made the most for me. But yeah, this is my sales history for the past just about a year, which is how long I've had stickers up. So as you can see, and I'll kind of be explaining my like logic about this, um, my top four grossing stickers all pretty much look the same. They are the exact same template and they're just different professions. So I made a nurse practitioner, physical therapist, EMT, and physician's assistant stickers. I also have a couple other ones. Um, nurse, MD, pre-med, nursing school, I believe. These top four have been the most popular and have made the majority of my Redbubble earnings. And it ranks it by total, not by the amount of products sold. And then going under, a lot of the ones after that are ones that I made for people, which we will get into that as well. So yeah, I'm not gonna scroll all the way down because then it gets kind of to like ones I've sold one of, which is really like a good 21 cents. That is how much money I've made off Redbubble and how many products I have sold. And I get emails from Redbubble like every single day about a sale. So these work. And even though it has not been that much yet, $25 is still $25 that I didn't get. That's like a tank of gas. So let me hop into my advice for coming up with stickers and how to sell and market your stickers. So first up, what type of stickers sell so as you can see by my top four they're all really simple basic stickers and they're targeted to a specific group of people when people buy stickers they usually buy a bunch at a time like i'll show you here's my computer i have a bunch of stickers and they all go together but none of them are really anything crazy like i didn't buy any crazy bold serious like big designs a lot of them are really simple when I started making stickers, I would make like these crazy elaborate pretty designs and that's nice and someone might like those, but that's not what people are looking for when they're searching for things to buy. This kind of goes along with my second point, making your stickers targeted. When people look for stickers, they don't just look at like pretty aesthetic stickers. I'm sure some people might look that up like yellow aesthetic. It's going to be a lot harder for you to make stickers that are showing up for people if they aren't more specifically targeted. So for mine, I ended up making specifically targeted for like medical professions because that's what I'm interested in, that's what I'm doing, I'm in nursing school and I pretty much made what I was looking for when I was looking for stickers. You can pretty much target to any specific group, like I said I targeted to specific professions but you can also target to different colleges, just say you're going to 
whatever school like I go to TCNJ I've made TCNJ stickers that's a targeted group and different aesthetics this is kind of a less specific target I know I said earlier that this probably doesn't search as well but you could target towards aesthetics I know people make little like sticker packs so they make a couple of small stickers so you can try and make different aesthetic packs if that is something you like to draw but I think really keep it simple that's what people like to buy people like to buy simple stickers because they're usually buying in bulk and they want them to go together so simple stickers only using a couple of colors or doing in black and white so my next like group of sticker ideas you can do is popular trends so the thing about popular trends is if your sticker like gets a lot of action it's not going to last very long so this is more of like a quick get sales and then you probably won't see a lot after that but i remember back in the day in red bubble of vine days all of Redbubble was covered in Vine stickers. And honestly, some of these are probably still popular now because these things don't die out very quickly. For trends, you can also do things with popular TikToks because TikTok's really popular now. So using more popular like trends from TikTok for sticker ideas, popular TV shows. So you can use quotes from different shows or different like emblems and icons from shows are very popular. I know there are like a million and 10 friends and the office theme stickers on Redbubble. So if you have a popular show that you like making art for that that kind of falls into trends but that also goes more into the next category that I'm going to talk about with like evergreen content because shows can be popular for a really long time and my last thing in the trends idea category is you can make political stickers I know people make stickers for different candidates and things like that and those become more of trend stickers because those will only be popular for a certain period of time before society kind of moves along you can also along with political figures you can do things along with like political movements and things like that that you want to do. I know for the BLM movement I saw people making Black Lives Matter stickers and designs and donating the proceeds. You can do that as well. But again those are more of like trend things because though these movements and candidates may be around for a while their time in pop culture is usually not very long lived. So my next like idea category and this is a better way to make revenue than trends because making a trend sticker, it's not necessarily going to pop off and you're going to get a lot of sales on it. I know I tried to um, capitalize on coronavirus jokes and things. I made a bunch of coronavirus stickers and nobody bought them. So it's not necessary that when you make a trend sticker that it's going to blow up and you're gonna get sales on it, but it is possible. I think the more likely form of income, and this is what I've seen for mine, is making evergreen content. And if you haven't heard the phrase evergreen content, that's content that's going to be around for a while. Things that aren't really a trend that people are always going to be looking for. So these types of things are like what I did with like jobs, so different professions. People are always going to be becoming physical therapists and doctors and nurses and people themselves might want to buy that. I know I have a stethoscope sticker on my computer or they might be buying it for a friend, but those things are always going to exist. Along with that are different majors. People are always going to be political science majors or history teachers and want stickers for that because college students are a big sticker population. High school, college is kind of like your demographic that I'm targeting and that a lot of people target on Redbubble. Along with majors, you can also do colleges. People are always going to be going to school. People are always going to want stickers for their school. Outside of that, more like broad stuff, you can also make places. I have a New Jersey sticker. You can do states, national parks, different cities. These are things people are always looking for. And just pretty designs like simple flowers, animals. People love turtles, sunflowers, all of those things. They're kind of trendy, but they're things that are common and won't die out quickly. Like people always think flowers are pretty, a nice simple floral design could get you sales for a long time. My next tip is work smarter, not harder. Make templates of your stickers, make lots of variations of similar things. As you guys saw, that's what I did with my stethoscope stickers. I made the same outline. I also, if you don't know how to make stickers, quick plug, I have a how to make red bubble stickers from a couple of different methods video on my channel. So if you have not checked that out and you are wondering how to make stickers, peep that video. I showed this in that video, you can make a template and then just paste in different things, change one part of it. It's super simple. Once you have your base of the design down, you can just add in the variation and make a bunch of different versions very quickly. Along with that, you don't just have to change 
what the item is. You can change colors. This goes along with like schools. I go to TCNJ, we'll use that as an example. You can make a TCNJ theme and then color it in different colors. Color it all blue, all gold, both, and just make variations with school colors and things like that. Again, with flowers, you can make one really nice detailed drawing and then just color it in a bunch of different times and have different stickers and it's not that much work to change the colors. Next up for tips, and this kind of goes into promoting as well, which I'll get into, is talk to your friends. Get orders from your friends. This is honestly more lucrative than selling on Redbubble in general. A lot of people like stickers and want stickers and want specific stickers and can't find them and don't know how to make them themselves. That's really how I got into making stickers was I wanted certain things and I would look them up and I would search through pages and pages on Redbubble and I couldn't find what I was looking for so I just decided to learn how to make them myself. A lot of people don't know how to do that. I have made like 10 bucks which doesn't sound like a lot but considering it's one sticker and the person then goes and buys the sticker which again you get like 20 cents from but still 10 bucks along with the 25 that I made from actual sticker sales not bad <laughs> and it really doesn't take long and friends might just request oh I really want something for school or just like a simple design and they could give you a little bit of money five ten bucks to design a sticker for them and last but not least how to promote your stickers. Promote your stickers on your social media. I'm sure if you're designing stickers for a demographic that you're in, your followers, most likely a good amount of them are in that demographic. Like I said, I am a college student. A lot of my followers are from the school that I go to. If I'm promoting stickers that I made for our school, people are going to be more likely to buy that. Or for stickers for your major, you probably have followers who are in the same major as you that you met at school, make stickers of your major, promote them, people would be more likely to buy them. Also by promoting your stickers, your friends and family will know that you make them and will be more likely to ask you to make something for them. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something, go and sell your stickers. If you have any questions that I did not answer in this video or in my how to make Redbubble stickers video, comment down below and I will get back to you. Check out my Redbubble at Dana Fink. Be sure to like this video if you like this video. Comment down below what you want to see from me next. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. I post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday, and I hope to see you again. Have a good one.